USA. They uh, Stinger won the first game, very dominating fashion, as they've been doing a lot lately. But Team USA did not let the phase them, clearly. They, they went with a, uh, a different style of lineup in the A. You know, got to try something different, especially to beat a team like State Green. They went for a very heavy AOE synergy. Oh. They went for the uh, the Prisoner 945 pick, and got to say that was fun to watch. Fun to watch indeed. So with that said, not only does that mean a victory for Team USA, but that means here as Han viewers, we're going to continue some great Heroes of New Earth. We got the next game coming at you now, and well, we are already well into it. With that said, uh, I am going to be doing a solo cast here. Obviously, uh, I'm sure I'm sure you guys know why. <laughs> Unfortunately, Penny with his uh, with the mic issues, it clearly was becoming to a point where uh, it was it was hard to understand and whatnot. So um, he 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 decided to step out, and you know, I definitely shout out to Penny. I, I I honestly really appreciate his insight. I think I I personally think he is very good at it, but uh, obviously the mic having some issues there. So perhaps uh, perhaps again when he gets a, when he gets a new mic. But for now, I'm going to be doing solo. Uh, with that said, moving along here. In, in this next game, we got uh, some picks to talk about already. War Beast Engineer, Ophelia, Corrupt the Disciple. Again, Peter Pan Dam valuing the War Beast, War Beast ban here against State Green as well. Like I said earlier, they did that against Team Excellent as well. Um, so And again, Team Excellent, not necessarily. Now, more so State Green, you could say maybe a little bit scary with the hero like War Beast, but it's still, it's, it is still kind of a. <laughs> One of those that you kind of look at maybe interesting. But anyway, Scout is the first pick coming out here for Team USA. I'm sure they're happy to have that, of course, as a result of how the bands went. Pebbles, the response. There's Tempest. There's Keeper. Ophelia, again, is banned this time around by Peter. We talked about how Stake Green now happened to get both with Keeper and Ophelia two games in a row, despite it not working out that last game. Still don't want to give it to them. So, yeah, how about that, by the way? Mega Smurfin ringing for a game number, or not, I, I keep saying ringing, I don't even mean that. He, he is, he's a sixth uh, player for their team, but he, he stepped in as a result of Chessie not being here for the first game, and they dominated the first game, and here we go with game two, and <laughs> Chessie comes back, and, well, they lose the game, so. Some, some Something to that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Obviously not really, but. It is kind of funny when you, uh, when you think of it from that point of view, but. Eddie, who, moving along here. Aluna is going to be the next pick coming out here. So we got Aluna, Tempest, Scout. Panty actually bringing out the point, you know, where we're going to see a prisoner ban. Now, on the first set of bans, yeah, I wasn't expecting it. But these next tier of bans, I wouldn't put it past it. Um, again, he was a very annoying hero, I'm sure. And, and just a hero that obviously brings a strong presence, as B Kid showed that game. It, it's a newer hero on the scene. Um, you know, we, we knew some of the potential that was there for the hero, but I think B Kid really showed even more. Of what what the hero can do as the game uh, as the game picks up. So, with that said, we do have uh, this game continuing. But now with the next tier of bands, we'll see again if that is going to be banned or not. Pyromancer and Magmus so far to start things off here. There's the parasite band coming out. Though obviously, despite them having the keeper, more than likely going to be that suicide anyway. So they could still use a jungle option and. Do not want to give them a parasite. There's rally happening. Speaking of pres prisoner nine four five, <laughs> good against that here. And actually, have we seen a rally at all today? I don't think we have. We had the excellent series earlier. We haven't had too many. Well, we've had four games now in total, so it's not like a many games. Now, I'm trying to think. Also, yesterday, if we saw, I, I think we saw them at least a couple times, but. I mean, I think Rally is is dying off a little bit, finally. I mean, he's obviously, before this last patch especially, he's still considered god tier. After this last patch, though, um, with the hit to his passive, I think uh, it's becoming slowly phasing off as far as that god tier hero. But uh, still, by all means, a worthy to pick here on the earlier stages, if not banned with the second tier bans. Bending stage finishing, though, Nymph 4 and Fade are going to be the final two bands coming out here. So they do not ban the prisoner. They do not adjust to uh, as a result of last game. Again, for the prisoner. So we'll see if Team USA is like, well, you're not going to ban it, we will pick it up again. Or maybe if that was more of a one-hit wonder type deal. 
I said in the past, you know, it seems like we we do go through those phases where you have a hero like that kind of come out of nowhere to an extent and dominate one one game and never see him again for the longest time. So, kind of wonder if that 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 might have been that. Guy. God, I find it hard to believe that. I mean, again, he as we saw in that game, we kept on theorycraft. I mean, you talk about the hero even beforehand; he, it just has so many possibilities. He really does. But they're thinking about it. Down to seven seconds. Okay, bubble's going to be coming out here. So I still want to put it out of the question. I mean, even with the bubbles pick now, with that bubbles pick, it does bring up the question of how are we going to see the lanes? Um, are we still going to see? Are we going to see a suicide bubbles and maybe maybe a short lane scout here? That's not out of the question. A scout normally used in that more of that suicide role, but a short lane scout could work just dandy as well. We'll see if that comes into play. They aren't going up against a jungler either, so. Could argue maybe that's where a scout not as necessary to go on a suicide, where if he is better position to block those camps and harass the jungler, um, if that would would be the case. So it all depends what this final pick is. Mage Bane. Well, that answers it. We're gonna see a suicide Mage Bane. Probably not. We're gonna see a suicide scout most likely. It's gonna be Mage Bane short lane with a Luna. Partner, probably Bubbles Middle is what I would think. Let's continue to swap around here, but um, yeah, it's probably going to be the case. Yeah, especially if, uh, when you see who's played what. So, yep, going to prioritize farm on the Mage Bane in that short lane. Team USA, especially, you know, they they made that point. Tell the uh, the first game what they went Sand Wraith. Last game, you know, they went Solus. They're not uh, not as what is the hard carry? But, you know, Corrupted Disciple, they've been doing that with recently, so. We'll see how they make the Mage Bane work. Pick Oogie. Do it. Stay green. Pick Oogie. Make it work. <laughs> Could you imagine? If they beat Trout's team with Oogie when they have a Mage Bane on it. <laughs> Don't bring that up to Emperor. He will, uh, he will go on a rant. Shout out to Emperor, by the way, as well as Nova, especially. I mean, those guys over there in Southeast Asia. Uh, I know on Honcast.com, uh, more and more articles uh, continuing to go up about how things are going on over there, and including also Orange Esports, uh, the team over there in the their on their G League, which is equivalent to really the Diamond Division of Honto over the here. Um, I guess uh, get penal got penalized for some unsportsmanlike conduct. So again, definitely help uh, keep up on how things are going over there, as well as just uh, our scene with the Honto and whatnot. We got some good articles constantly going up on the honcast.com website. Shout out to the writers. As well as B for helping to manage that. Final pick, Dark Lady. Coming out over here. So they say, we see your mage bane. We Let's call it with on. a Dark Lady. Um, Dark Lady, the big thing about uh, that pickup is the fact that she is also pretty decent against a hero like Mage Bane with those silence blades. Or the Dark Blades, which do silence. Obviously, you can get some good lockdown against the Mage Bane. If you can uh, stay on top of him, that is. But perhaps uh, that's where some of the thinking was involved for Stay Green here. But at the same time, Stay Green not knowing as much for going more of that hard carry. So that's actually kind of just hitting me, but. How about that? How about that? Chessy playing it here. Still, I, I'm still adjusting, man, to seeing Chessie on a hard carry. <laughs> I know he's just a great player, and he's gonna and he's playing it well, and he's gonna continue to play it well. But just think Chessie, think Jungle, man. I don't know if I'll ever get away from that. See, they're trying to find them in the jungle right here, but uh, saying hello with some with some taunting. Not actually gonna initiate though. Tralf, uh, Singularity, a.k.a. Tralf Midor. Spotting them as well. But, Hellborn team, stay green, get control of the jungle, it looks like. They get down a ward of sight right here. Gonna block this camp. Gonna try to make life as difficult as possible on Riser. You just have to deal with this plenty, though. He has a rev ward of his own. We'll see if, uh, he gets over there to counter. Or is he gonna maybe try to counter it here? I wonder if he thinks they put one here. He probably does. Not the case, though. Yeah, so he puts the rev down, but guess what, Riser? There was nothing there. 
It was all an illusion. Well, that rev actually blocked this camp now. That actually be kind of funny. Here comes torture. <laughs> he's gonna act like he's placing a ward. Oh, he's gonna block it just by standing there. Okay. That's rude. See, so Freak's being rude. Should report him. No spawn. <laughs> That's gotta be frustrating for Riser, because he used a rev ward to actually counter ward, and then it, it still gets blocked, because <laughs> Torture was sitting there blocking it, so. And now that he sees Torture, I'm sure he's picking up on that, like, oh, okay, yeah. Riser has uh, plenty of experience playing in the jungle. Anyways, as far as the lanes are going, how about this setup? Darklit is gonna be the middle lane here. Darklit Master versus Aluna. What initially was a mage bait, so both sides kind of going a little bit different there. How about that? Scout is end up being in the short lane against Pebbles long lane. What the f is going on? I don't even know anymore. So you have Bubbles in that suicide against the short lane keeper. So it, it feels like Team USA tried to make an early adjustment as far as the lanes go themselves, but Stay Green responded with their own lane setup. Huh. Master of Arms heading to the bottom lane here. It's gonna kinda turn into a tri lane, really. Darkling is currently left alone here in the middle. Of course, uh, that's always talk about with Dark Lady. The taint still in the hatchet. Still has solid ways to get some creep farm. Even if she's outnumbered. You know, Mage Bane Aluna is not necessarily the most threatening combo either. Granted, Aluna is a good harasser. And uh, Peter Van Dam, solid support player too. Gonna say hello with some auto attacks, but here comes Master of Arms coming back to the lane. Peter going for the top rune. It is gonna be the refreshment rune. Bottom rune's double damage, but Master of Arms and actually Torture also here. Ooh, here to do have the auto attack though. Dark Blades initiation. Torture, where's the chain reaction? It does come out. And Z Freak gets Bloodlust kill right there. I was wondering, I mean, that was a almost a miscommunication it looked like, where Chessie jumped in when Torture started falling back after he initially auto attacked. Um, maybe thinking that Mage Bane was just going to blink anyways, but obviously right there, Trout kind of faked the blink. And they still caught him, but that's the Dark Blades also coming to play right there. That's what initiated. There's the charge shot. They're going to go back in. The Dark Blades applied, and it's rinse and repeat, baby. Chain reactions. This is going to be enough. This time, out, actually, Dark Lady's in trouble. She's going to fall. Big counter kill coming out for Team USA. Can they go for two? It doesn't look like they're going to be able to. But that time, obviously, paying off big time in favor of Team USA. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. Eye for an eye coming out right there, and it ain't over. Master of Arms not being chased down. Riser coming out of the jungle. Not going to be a kill, though. Just as I go back to saying hello. Just saying hello. Oh, guy, I need to change the graphic production value here. It's probably better on this screen, to be honest. All right, production value, here we go. It is now this zero over here, this two over here, Move that there, and change it to one. Aha! We got production here. Hashtag production value. All right, coming back in now. Keeper of the forest versus bubbles. That's a boring matchup. How's it going? 16 and six keeper, 15 and three bubbles. So really back and forth here. At the top lane, what about the bottom lane? I'm sure Pebbles, 23 and 8. Yep, Swinamel's having a pretty good time. Scout, in the meantime, 16 and 1. He's not really playing suicide. He's going to get the double damage. Yes, he is. He picks it right in front of Master of Arms. And Master's, holy crap, <laughs> that just happened. I just took immense damage right there. He's going to be fine, but... And if Kaze happened to be a level 6, that could have definitely been a kill right there. But Obviously not able to do so. Back to the middle. This has been an interesting laning phase, man. Just from the lane setups to how there's a lot of movement going on too early on. I mean, where's Torture been? Torture has boots now. He's coming back to the middle lane. Where's he been this whole time though? He's, I guess, maybe at the bottom? Not really though. He's not getting any experience really. He is spotted by this ward of sight right here. Uh oh. Z Freak, careful. Z Freak's in trouble. Z Freak's dead. I'm just going to call it here. Z Freak's dead. Yep! I know that was a uh, risky call, but. Saw that happening from a mile away. Good kill there for Team USA. Take advantage of a well-placed ward. Oh, 
Bottom lane, Pebbles. So it's just a scout though, so coming in to continue some last innings here, but Pebbles again. Just like last game, having a very good start. We'll see if, you know, this time he doesn't have that Nymphora partner though, so. Probably not going to be going straight into a portal key. Probably going more build up here. <laughs> Bubbles getting boxed out. <laughs> the electric guy sounds going off right there, but doesn't really face Pebbles. If anything, uh, Scout maybe thought he was going to be jump, but not the case. Bottom lane, you see Aluna's rotating over. Torture is going to be found in the jungle right here. Luna has a two level advantage on him. Middle lane. Keeper making a transition. Okay, so the Hellborn team looks like stay green. They finally decide to, to make a bit of a transition here. They send Dark Lady to the top lane instead. In the short lane, so it's just not working. They got the Bloodlust kill, but since then, Trough has still been able to do just fine. So 23 and 7 for Trough. You got 24 and 7 for Chessie. A good back and forth battle happening there between the two. It is a two to one hero kill advantage, or two to one game advantage, I should say, in favor of Stay Granite, says at the top. Team USA winning the previous game here, this best set of five. Again, eight thousand dollars in total on the line. Five thousand for first, three thousand for second. Also, the points. Points are very important. Can't stress that enough. You got get off to an early start, especially. It's good, and that leads all the way to the top two, or I believe it's the top team, and then for the second seed, it's gonna be like the top seventeen battle out, or something like that. But anyways, they're gonna then move on to playing that hundred and fifty thousand dollar grand grand finals somewhere in Southeast Asia competing against the best in the world. That's going to be fun, man. That's going to be fun. But we are just getting started here with uh, with our cycles. As far, again, we have 10 cycles before that even takes place. This is just number one. Every cycle lasting two weeks, of course. Again, just just getting started. See, Green looking like they may have ran away with the cycle all the way up until last game, really, where uh, Team USA gave them their first loss of the cycle. In a font here, you could even say. But Stay Green still in the advantage, of course, up two to one. You're in the best out of five. Eight minutes in, Scout rotating to the top lane. Dark Lady might be in trouble. She just used her charging strikes too. Oh, Chessie's dead. Kelfield comes out, marksman shot, shell surf. I believe it hit. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. Easy peasy, easy kill at the top lane. That's just unfortunate timing, especially from Chessie. Even if she didn't use her charging strikes right there, it might could have been a similar result, but the fact that she just used her charging strikes, that pretty much guaranteed the kill right there. When it came down to it, you see the middle lane. They're gonna try to collapse on Aluna. She knows something's up. She's trying to stay out of range, and she is. Good reaction from Peter Pan down there. Noticing Swinamon's playing a little too aggressive for his liking. And now Scout's in the middle lane. Always like to see this in, with your uh, Suicide Scouts. Being active earlier on, Casey does this plenty for TMSR. He's trying to find an opportunity here in the middle lane, but... Not really going to find it in the end. He is running out of mana, so... I'm yeah, going to need to be careful with that. Going to go back in right here, put in the auto attacks. Mage Bane jumps in. Pebbles doesn't have mana. He's going to be locked on. The mana rift going to be used, and he will be finished off. Elemental Void, uh, a little bit of overkill, though. Hellborn Courier also going down. That's kind of a big deal. I don't think the Elemental Void was necessary. It did lock down Pebbles from using his abilities, actually. I think that's what was locking him down. So maybe, uh, maybe it was worth it in the end. But Well, they get the kill, though, as we always say. Abilities are there for a reason. He gets the kill in the end. And now the middle lane going to be heavily pressured in. So Team USA off to a very solid start here. Tower goes down tower. in their favor. And Trough all of a sudden, 290 gold per minute. So <laughs> by no means is he exploding, but it's uh, it's it's moving on up. And he is still above the Dark Lady. That's really the key in the end. As long as you're above the Dark Lady, I think you're pretty happy. Middle lane, oh, Master oh, Farms oh. gets countered on. He was pushing up to clear out the creep it's wave. But massacre. Bubbles made him pay for that. Well played by B Kid there. Looks like he shell surfed in and set up an easy kill. Yeah. 
five to one hero kill lead in favor of Team USA. On top of the 3,100 gold lead, 3,000 experience lead. Just see a steam boots finished. Kind of wonder if Mage Man and uh, Darkly, I mean more Darkly, just the uh, Rune Cleaver. It's just even more of a core item, not even necessarily a farming tool, but it's so powerful. It synergizes well with those Dark Blades and with the Dark Blade and Charging Strikes combo. Um, so yeah, definitely still ex expect no matter what to see it on her. But you know, Mage Bane doesn't necessarily have to go for a Rune Cleaver at least initially. But uh, at the same time, it's probably going to be the case. I think this is a game where, especially with how Darkly isn't having the best of times, you know, why not try to even get further ahead? Um, you know, it's kind of getting at you could also go for something like a Helm of the Black Legion, but again, this isn't a team that's been screaming aggressive play and the pace of the game. I believe it's going to be a Rune Cleaver in the end for Mage Bane. Top lane, Mark Spitz not used on Dark, that he didn't really phase him too much. He's going to be disarmed right there. He has a Charging Strike, so they're trying to get him to use it. Oh, he uses it aggressively right here. Torture coming in. They're locking down Scott, but in comes the Cuffield. There's a Saga to see on top of the shelter. But if they can get the counter kill, it's going to be worth it. Ultimate used by Jesse, and they will get a double tap. Peter Pandam, he comes in with a power throw, and it takes out both Torture and Dark Liddy. You saw the cover of Darkness coming out right there from, uh, from Dark Liddy, just to try to make Bubbles not able to finish him off, but obviously it didn't happen. So Scout willing to take a sacrifice there in favor of getting the two kills. And now here we are. Did I say Keizu? <laughs> Damn these six minute delays. <laughs> Who did I call Keizu? Was it Keeper? I probably called Keeper Keizu. That happens. Anywho. 12 minutes in now. Just over 12 minutes. Riser, uh, he's coming along nicely. Looks like he's working on that astrolabe. Ooh, Scout. Again, doing what he does best. Scouting things out. He has his ultimate. He's going to be spotted by the tower here. He opens on a Torturer. Not going to go for a Marksman shot, though. Getting pretty aggressive there, however. And is he going back in? Yes, he is. Master of Arms falling back before too much happens. Going to set up an easy tower kill. The Legion takes their man. I mean, tower. they've just not been able to play their game. Game number uh, we saw in the last game, Team USA was able to control it fairly earlier on, and although it was kind of a back and forth battle in the end, it still uh, obviously went in favor of Team USA with the clashes that they had. Even even though they had Ophelia Keeper, they just could not get that group up. We're gonna push presence. Going and you know this game they they have keeper the once again not as big of a push for Ophelia this time around but they didn't have a jungle either this game and you, know, you kind of wonder maybe that has something to do with it for state green still liking to run that jungle usually Dark Lady's found doing some creeps here but I think she's fine especially with that nature's veil buff on her. Torture looking for an opportunity, and Stack's going to be coming out for <coughs> by Master of Arms. <coughs> In the meantime, there's the portal key finish on of Mullins. Again, going a lot of his build up. That was the portal key. It's the Sander finished on uh, Trolf playing the Mage Bane. You also have Soul Scream Ring on Dark I definitely like that choice, you know, especially with how this game she has found herself dying now three times in total. Wants to get those earlier on stats. So I uh, kind of wonder if she's going to go into the full Energizer here. Or if may just now work towards a Rune Cleaver. Because, you know, the longer she does delay herself from getting that Rune Cleaver, as good an Energizer can be, it will mean the f more difference in timing. Mage Bane's going to have his own Rune Cleaver. And will start to exponentially increase as a result of that. So it's kind of that uh, mind game to keep in mind there. Scout sitting on top of Keeper, <laughs> trying to get his team an opportunity to maybe jump him. Speaking of Energizer, he's definitely going that, and actually, they may have found the opportunity. Keeper the Forest, 
fun. The minions doing the uh, creeps here. Bubbles trying to push out the lane. He wants to. He doesn't want to make it obvious. Obviously, <laughs> obvious. Obviously. Can they find it? Can they find it? Uh, gonna come into the jungle here. Keeper's gonna turn around, and it doesn't look like it. The Legion takes down a Hellborn Tower! A lot of tower pressure coming out here, but they do get the top tower in the meantime. The Hellborn takes tower down, down. A Bottom lane, Mage Bait here, but he's gonna blink away. Or too much happens. Master Vaughn's already setting up. Had the TP coming in, but obviously couldn't uh, couldn't catch him in time. So Trout falls back. Dark Lady does finish the Energizer, by the way. Battle presence earlier on. Keep pushing the top lane, it looks like. We got a Luna and uh, Tempest still up there. Might be starting to port back, though. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, chasing Dark Lady, able to get away for now, using the Energizer. Tempest, uh oh. Whew. This one of them was going the wrong way. Guess he wasn't able to see him right there. And actually, he's going to be fine in the end. Dark Lady, go over the TP. Can they stop him? Nope. If he did a marksman shot, where did he port to is a question. He did port to the bottom secondary tower, so it's 3.5 seconds. How long does it take to channel that? 2.25. If he started channeling that right as he went for the TP, that would have stopped it. Unless I'm mistaken. We're not the ancients here. Obviously spreading out some good farm, and that's something else to keep in mind too. You know, we keep focusing on the Mage Bane versus Dark Lady, but there's also a scout in this game. That's uh, Zai, 230 gold per minute, obviously not the most, in fact, last on his team, holy crap. At 230 GPM, but hell, he's game progresses, he's gonna start becoming more of a threat himself. So that's even more reason you can kind of look at here from the Hellborn side that they uh, may wanna get something earlier on going here if you stay green, but... Rune Cleaver, does he have it now? That's, that's a broadsword purchase, is that two broadswords? Yes it is. So Rune Cleaver gonna be delivered at about an 18 minute Rune Cleaver here. As he ports to the top lane. Get him to go that far, I mean again, it goes back to you, I was saying, Dark Lady not going the Rune Cleaver first, she just goes the Energizer. But now there's that much more time in between now. Before she has it compared to him. So we'll keep a close eye on the GPMs especially. I mean, it's already a, about a 40 gold per minute lead here for Mage Bane. Let's see how that continues to progress. Scout at the bottom lane, he's being collapsed on. He does have an Electric Eye, but it's not close enough. There's the combo from Pebbles, and he does fall in the end. That Electric Eye, just a little bit out of range. It did silence Keeper, but, and even if he had it on himself, I mean, Soda Mouse comboed very quickly right there. And the Electric Eye came out after, I think, anyway, so probably wouldn't have But good find there. Taking advantage of Pebbles, of course. Easy tower kill. The Hellborn takes down a Legion Tower! <laughs> What's that I saying? Scout, Casey? That's funny. It is Zai here. Zai playing the scoot. Dark Lady, nearly 2,000 gold saved up. I kind of wonder if he's just going to go completely different. Is he actually not going to go Rune Cleaver here? Do you not go Rune Cleaver on Dark Lady again? It's just, it synergizes so well with their abilities. It's a powerful item, but maybe if you don't like this, is not the game that makes sense for it. That's 2,200 gold now saved up. So, we'll find out shortly. Is he going to just rush for something like a straight Shrunken? I mean, okay, no, there's a sustain there. Yeah, yeah Shrunken wouldn't make too much sense. Oh, meanwhile, Pebbles finds another piece of food there. However, oh, he's going to be fine, though. He has more team support near him than he does in top lane. Bubbles, but it won't cost me here for Dark Lady. The Mana Rift already used. The Silence, though, so on Bubbles. Now, here comes the Kelfield. Dark Lady going to use that cover Darkness right there. It's going to keep her alive. Great team support coming out. And B-Kid realizing it's not a fight. He's going to win. He portals away. Mage Man portals away as well. And they're both going to escape, but that was close. The Dark Blades didn't work there, though. If it wasn't for that Silence Bubbles... That oh, was probably a dead Dark Lady. You see uh, both paws coming out here, but not able to get off his abilities in time. Which bot time for 
especially Master of Arms, to throw out the Master's Call right there. And help keep her alive as well as the team's support. Alright, let's get it on! Always like to see the quicker pauses coming out. But yeah, she does have her sustainer now, but again, let's take a look at the GPM chart. It's pulling ahead even a little bit more. 50 gold per minute lead now for Mage Bane. Pebble's still in the overall lead, though. Can't forget that. 400 plus gold per minute. Make that about 415 now. We've got a soul spark with that portal key here. So, something else to really look at. Is that Abyssal Skull finished on Mage Bane? No, we actually just have a quick blade here, so he's going to be going straight Geometer Spain. Definitely uh, can appreciate that. Whenever you're going up against a keeper, especially. Hell, the Dark Blades, too. Even more of a reason to get Geometer Spain. So, yeah, I think uh, Geometer Spain, definitely the correct route here for Trelf. Who might have told him what to go, though? Is that the real Pebbles? What the? Uh, the juice is loose. Oh. <laughs> Even I got distracted. <laughs> the top lane Pebbles ends up going down by the real Pebbles. So, I, 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 uh, was that actually intended? I mean, I kind of wonder if it was. I kind of wonder if it was of a... And intended like, okay, we're gonna buff you, your illusion up, make them think that you're all, you're down there, and then we jump bubbles at the top lane. I, you know, that, that's one of those he'll probably never tell us the truth anyways. But if that was intended, that's that's next level, man. That's next level right there. Strats going on, in mind games. But nonetheless, he does pick up bubbles at the top lane, the real one. So well played right there from Stay Green. Scout, how is how's he been coming along? Still sitting at 205, Zai. Not able to find uh, best of farm throughout this game. Obviously, a lot of it going to Mage Bane and Bubbles and Tempest. So <laughs> not the friendliest of game for him. It, you know, that kind of goes back to the Scout pick in general. Um, scout, a great suicide hero, but it seems like more so you usually want to build him around not as much of a hard carry, especially a physical threat hard carry that's just sit back and needs farm like a Mage Bane. Something to set like a Hag almost or more of an aggressive earlier on assistance, like a pestilence we've seen, you know, stuff like that, but, um, a, you know, not that it's still it's bad in this case, but, Congor goes down. obviously, this, this is a perfect example of how he really won't have the best of time in farm, and his items might not be the greatest as a result, but, while I'm rambling on there, it's on camera, though, you see Congor kill happening, well played by Stay Green, there was a sight that was just played, so, that makes sense, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think Team USA even realized the whole time. It's gonna run right past some opponents. Mage been at the top lane. He was being jumped right here. Couldn't be able to get blink away in time though. Offensive master's call, not enough this time. It's away before death. Obviously he has a firebrand pickup. Well on the way to the Geo's Bane. Token of life goes to Pebbles, by the way. Oh, where is Scout? What is Scout doing? <laughs> Kinda got caught right there almost to look like, but. Able to get on through. Again, GPM starting to continuing to grow even for Mage Bane. Now, Dark Lady is very close to their to her own Rook Lever with that said. Um take a look at the jungle. No, no, well, not much there. We do have a keeper taking a lot of it. An uh, electric guy here, I I assume that blocks the spawn of the ancients. If it doesn't, then not a whole lot of reason to put it there. Other, well, it does give her vision, so it's definitely so reason, but I assume it does. That's why you put it in that specific position. Uh, point being, though, it's only one uh, one set of ancients currently, so the Rune Cleaver on Dark Lady, which just got finished. I'm not going to necessarily be able to maximize it in that sense. Mage Bane, on the other hand, he's got some uh, he's got some triple stacks of his own. Luna taking the last one right there, but not the biggest deal. Another 2200 gold already saved up, so he has the Blessed Orb already. Just needs now the pattern. That Geo's Bane gonna be coming! So Team USA versus Stay Green here. Again, Stay Green up two games to one here in this best of the five. Team USA trying to make the comeback, trying to even it up after being down 2-0. And force a final game. 
whether you want to call it four or five, it, it'll be the final game in the end. There's the demonic. Finished on pebbles right there. Top lane. Looks like uh, something may be brewing. Scout not going to make things too obvious. Mage being running up here, but yeah, just going to farm in the end. Going to take away some resources here, but needs to be careful. They ran right past the sword of sight. Oh, and he blinks into them. No, that's not what you want to do. Oh, Slagman's missed, so is it going to be enough to get away? No, it's not. He's still going to be comboed down. A very, very aggressive spot there by Trough, of course. <laughs> being in the hell opposite, opposition jungle. Peter Pan Am obviously also going to be picked up, and that one side was just played, so they didn't it's even have any vision up in the jungle. Um, yeah, and obviously did not pay off. I, I don't know, leading up to that, they also were missing on the map or whatnot, but, you know, it's one thing to farm this stack right here, but blinking into the yellow camp. That, was, that got risky, and obviously did not pay off in the end, so. Well played by State Green, taking advantage, and that's, that's what you need in a game like this, when it's very even. If anything, a slight lead for Team USA with the Mage Bane farm. Going in, push another tower in. And they're gonna go right for the base now. Now the middle lane being counter pushed by Scout and Tempest right here. Scout's gonna be porting back. Mage Bane does not have a buyback. They're gonna lose the base tower out of this. This just really shows you how much damage actually was done right there. Uh, or are they? I mean, it's gonna be close in the end. Mage Bane coming up in three seconds. They could fight this, but can they? The same Hellboy time, I mean, Bubbles is gonna go in. There we go, Bubbles up, Zen Kelvin hitting three. Nice rest up, four seconds in a Dark Lady, actually. Scout opens, but Zai realizes very quickly that's not gonna happen. Pebbles in the meantime, jumps in the background. Aluno's being locked down. Cover of Darkness comes out. And it will be enough to help the Hellborn team get away. They're gonna reset, though. They wanna go back in, damn it. Swinomelz wants blood still. He has the token of life. He still wants something. The Legion takes down a Hellborn Tower! It's a kind of a small victory there for Team USA, at least. They get the middle tower, but. Melee racks, they want the melee racks here. Bubbles taking the stun. Getting keep the goal out on him. You, he'll just come right back. So it's a tough decision here, but Mage Man jumps in. Slagman's coming out. He's gonna be locked down. Is this gonna be it for Trout? He's being locked down with the dark plates. Down goes Trophinar. Here comes that Tavis ultimate. But the root gonna stop it fairly quickly. In the background, we see Elise bubbles over here. He's destroyed. trying to go on. He is gonna be picked off though. And now we see they're pushing back in, and we do have a, uh, a sigh and a pause coming out. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's get uh, it yeah, on. I assume maybe there was a little bit of lag there, perhaps, on their side. That's why I maybe Too throw out the pause. Easy. But in the end, the Rax goes down. We do see the kill happening. Scout in the background trying to chase on Torture. Can he at least get that kill? He's no, he can't. No so lag might still lock it down. Hatcher Sorry. coming out for my nuts. Double tap on Ultimate Warriors, even, even for Pebbles. Bubbles buys back. He does snipe out torture, but the <laughs> damage has clearly been done. This all started with a kill on a mage man right here. This all started about two minutes ago with a kill on a mage man, and we're still going. They're still going into the base. Bubbles was running away. He does port back. No more buybacks to be had. This is going to be two sets of racks all of a sudden. And stay green. They are on the verge of taking cycle number one right here for Hunter. Legion Barracks gets destroyed. Team USA has put up a valiant effort. Taking a game off them, trying to force that final game, but after what just happened right there, I don't, I mean, holy crap. Look at the gold here on the Hellborn side. 5,300 on Keeper, 4,300 on Dark Lady, 4,100 on Master, 3,500 on Pebbles, and, and the items are starting to come as a result. We just saw a level two no fire purchased by by Mass. This is your secondary support master of arms. He has a tablet of command into a level two no fire blade. Keeper of the Force has got a straight up resto stone. Dark Lady and Pebble still yet to buy theirs, but they're going to be on a whole another tier of items. Where you got uh, you got TBSA over here, still going to be on the the initial ones really. So speaking of that, Geometer's Bane is going to be finished here finally for for Mage Bane, but. They just call the GGs. Yeah. A so you know loss. what? And with we that, ain't coming back from that. Wins. Not gonna give it a shot. Can't plan them honestly. That's. I mean, that fight all started. Drop unfortunately on Mage Bane. He just simply got picked off in the jungle. Playing aggressive up there. Thought uh, you know trying to just enhance his farm. At that point, it was still it was a dead even game really. If anything, a slight advantage for Team USA because Mage Bane was having the better farm. 
And it clearly was going to be one of those games where it come down to carry versus carry. At least it could have been one of those games, but at the same time, that's where you got to be careful. Stay green if it's even like that. They found the opportunity that uh, that the game was being so patient for. They found Mage Bane in the jungle, in their own jungle at that. They get the kill. And sure enough, the game ends two, three minutes later as uh, they just go on an onslaught into their base. I mean, yeah, and, and that too. Uh, as far as the fight goes, I mean, the Rax was dead. Obviously, Mage Bane got a little aggressive there in the fight too. And he got locked down. I, I, I assume the communication was he was trying to bait, bait a uh, Tempest Ultimate, if anything. He didn't have the Geo's Bane at that point, so... Maybe trying to beat the Tempest Ultimate opportunity, which eventually came out, but it was just a second too late. As uh, as Trough was already dead, of course. So, there you go, though, ladies and gentlemen. Stay green. They are your Cycle 1 champions here for Haunter. They take home their $5,000. Team USA, runner-up, not too shabby. They, they'll, they'll get their $3,000 prize first, as well as uh, the points involved. Leading up into the $150,000 Grand Grand Finals, but... Hey, cycle one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a, what a fun cycle it was from last week into this weekend. Obviously, we had plenty of solid and great matches. Um, it comes down to those state grade. You know, I must say, it's 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 what I ended up calling, and it, not not to brag or anything, but it, for obvious reasons, man. I mean, this team, again, they are just looking so strong. And I will say, Team USA, the, they, they have been the first team since uh, not only in this cycle, but uh, as I've seen them late, to uh, kind of put them uh, at a little bit of a... I don't want to say tilt situation, but at least give them uh, some great competition with that said, which would definitely made for an awesome grand finals. But in the end, State Green was just a little too strong. So that is going to do it for not only the series, but obviously for coverage here on Honcast as well. Ladies and gentlemen, what a, again, what, what a cycle it was. With that said, cycle number two, it'll be kicking off next weekend on the Saturday with the round of 16 with four new teams. And a whole new round of 16 tournament. So, I, I love Haunter, man. I love, I love how it just keeps going like that. Every two weeks, a new cycle, a new new 16-team tournament here for the Diamond Division. It just keeps it going. It's, it's an awesome pace, awesome amount of content. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that as well. With that said, really a big shout-out to, 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 to the viewers, especially those that, you know, not only viewing it, to watch them. Just great Heroes of New Earth. Whatever anyone else says, uh, you know, whatever's out there.